Previously on Danganronpa 2. Ah, it hurts so good. It hurts so good. This picture isn't right. I was actually using my penis to, <laughs> to grip the knife. Ooh. I feel like this conversation is going to give me some really weird fan fiction. And now, back to the island. Frozen! Oh, okay, I finished pooping. I'm Monami. <laughs> By now, there's nothing more for me to say. Yeah, I know. Anyway, my chest is full of pride right now. And so is my empty belly button. Look at the poking out. It's so excited. Everyone is united against despair. They're totally awesome. Yeah. That's why I'm gonna fight too. I like Monami. I think she's funny, you know? Like, I really don't think she's gonna end up being a bad guy. At least I hope not, but I... I will fight the only way I can. I'm gonna show that guy my fearsome retaliation. I'm just gonna hug him until he dies. That's basically it. <laughs> okay. Well, you didn't have to tell so me if don't we're forget to save. Together, <laughs> where do we start? With the cause of death missing from the Monokuma file? Why don't we try removing all our preconceived notions before we discuss this? In the beginning, our discussion advanced by assuming Nagito's death was caused by the spear. It's better to confirm if there are any other possibilities. That's what I think. <laughs> It'd be like, so, he's, oh my god, he's like, he's like, okay, stab myself in the legs, slash my arm to bits, stab my hand with a knife, stab myself through the fucking <laughs> chest with a spear. He's sitting there, he's like, oh, oh my god, why am I still alive? <laughs> oh man, this hurts like fucking shit. Why am I not dead yet? No, no, bagels, you betrayed me. The bagels are sitting over there like, ha ah, ah. ha. Foolish Nagato, foolish! You fell for our plan all along! Of course, the traitor! Traitor all along was you, Bagel! No! Say it ain't so, Bagel. I believed in you for so long. You were my only friend. Ha ha ha! Foolish Nagato, foolish! Never trust a Bagel! Never! <laughs> and then. I don't know, the album explodes. <laughs> That's how these that's how these how these situations always seem to end in my in my version. And the island explodes. The end. <laughs> other possibilities. Huh. If something other than the spear killed Nagito, all I can think of is the knife stabbed into his hand, but That was definitely a gruesome wound. But it wouldn't be the fatal wound, don't you think? Hmm. If you think the cuts on his legs and left arm aren't the fatal wounds. Hmm. Are we finished already? I feel like it's possible that we overlook something. I still don't understand this is important, you know? I mean, if it, if it is, he's gonna end up pointing to something else. Something that he must have already known. I. But. What exactly? Overlooked. Then let's bring up whatever we can think of, one after the other. That might clear some things up. Exactly. We should cooperate at a time like this. It wasn't a spear. We don't even know if it actually exists, but if it does, we need to find out what it is no matter what. Because, I, I, I don't know, for some reason. A Kuma file, torture rooms, duct tape, blood, blood on the girder, a piece of blue paper. I'm Monokuma special poison or piece of blue paper? I, I'm thinking maybe, was a piece of blue paper like on the lid of the, the Monokuma special poison or something? Or some like the seal maybe to keep it? I, I don't know, let's try that. Let us consider a different fatal wound. It's not the knife in his right hand, right? It's not the other wounds, right? With all those wounds. Maybe he simply bled to death. No. There's no way he burned to death. Was the cause of death something that can all be seen? Uh, get away, get away, get out of my way! Yes! I agree with that. <laughs> Those fucking letters are just coming out. Oh! Get out of my way! I totally forgot about that possibility. If the cause of death was something we can't see, then we have to consider poison as a possible method. It is true that poison is not something we can see, but why did you bring that up all of a sudden? I remember. When I went to investigate Nagito's cottage, I discovered something really strange. Inside the refrigerator, I found a bottle of Monokuma's special poison. Oh, it's the good stuff, man! Poison? Additionally, that's a poison made specifically for killing. I see. Now that you mention it, there's no way a toxin like that doesn't relate to the case at all. 
If poison was the cause of death, it would not leave an obvious wound on Nagito's body. However, it's common for blood blotches to appear on a body that's been poisoned. I see. You sure seem to know a lot about medicine. What does that mean? God, even if blood blotches appear, if the body was already covered in blood, there's no way we'd notice them easily, right? Did, did he wound his body just to camouflage them? That's also a possibility. But still, both of Nagito's hands were full. So how would he drink poison? His left hand was tied up in gripping the spear, and his right hand had a knife stuck in it. I remember it said on the label that it could get it can get in the air if left in the room temperature, right? So yeah, that's what he did. He, he he let it. He probably he brought uh, he brought some of it with him and he let it evaporate in the air so he and breathed it in. If it was a slow acting poison, it is possible he consumed it in advance. No, the warning label on the bottle explicitly states the effect is instant. Then it's impossible. Both his hands were full just before he died. And this is when the hard tail appears. <laughs> what, the, what the hell is wrong with God? She, I get the feeling that Nakano's had a lot of rough, crazy sex. You're totally overvaluing that tail. That's <laughs> oh, right. That's when the penis comes out. Ooh. I, what? I don't even understand his what. Mouth was covered with duct tape. On him. If he wanted to drink poison, how do you get it past his lips? I don't know if that, a hard tail comes out. Do guys get an erection right before they die? Ugh, right. uh, so turned on by my death. Uh, uh. If there's no way he could have drank the poison, it might be impossible. Just kidding. It's not like we're out of possibilities yet. <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Are there any left? Hell no. No matter how you slice it, he was totally killed by that spear. Since we've already ruled out so many possibilities, it might be easier to think about what really killed him. Operation Elimination Method. The hint should be written on the poison's warning label. Maybe. <laughs> the way the poison entered Nagi is by an instrument on the warning label. Think carefully, try to remember. Uh, Hangman's game again. Oh, no, logic dive. All right. Breathe it in. <laughs> I like how she's like, I think it might be on the warning label. I can't figure, I'm not going to say what the answer is. Like, I don't know. You know, if it doesn't end up being like the Future Foundation is not actually bad, it might be that actually, uh, whoops. It might be that Chiaki really is a part of it, but she's not like, I don't know. Maybe the Future Foundation instead is trying to help us get past this shit that Monokuma started. You know? That's what I'm, I'm that's sort of my guess. But he her. Oh God! Don't fail me now. See, it was the poison in when it not now you know when it affected not you. Gas! Oh fuck! I fell off here. Damn it! That was only two questions too. All right. Yes. God, Hajime, you have some, you have some weird powers. You know that? <laughs> oh God! Oh God! All right, we need to slow down for that. Or, or, ooh, let's jump over here. Yeah. Oh fuck! No. <laughs> right, let's try that again. Yeah, see now, if I had that over jumping power, that jumping power, I'd be jumping all over the damn platforms. Poison entered Nagi's body through his mouth, through his nose. Oh, because his mouth was covered, so yes, it went through his nose. Yes! Nagi no brain power always succeeds. I've solved the problem. Why do I feel the need to go through more obstacles? Uh, uh, superpowers! Rainbow victory! It's all coming together! Yes! Erection head always wins. Always. What if instead of drinking the poison, we assume he inhaled it? Inhaled? 
It's written on the poison's warning label. Shannon Liquid was highly potent and it takes effect immediately. Please handle with care. Though it's volatile, it's low. This liquid is very dangerous when vaporized. Dangerous when vaporized. In other words, breathing in the gas is fatal. Poison gas! Then all he had to do was breathe it in through his nose! He breathed that poisonous gas inside the warehouse? But if poisonous gas had spread throughout the warehouse, why didn't it kill us? Because we didn't breathe poison gas, gas should be able to... The Monok <laughs> The Monokuma merch! The smoke? Poisonous gas cures cure because of smoke. So the latest are like new shots. Crap! Uh, wait, does it say on the warning label? Oh, it's susceptible to hydrolysis. I see. The sprinklers! I see! The sprinklers in the warehouse. Thanks to those, we didn't inhale that poison gas. The poison gas disappeared because of the sprinklers? It wasn't the fire? <laughs> look at the look on Kazuichi's face. <laughs> well, this was also written on the poison's warning label. In a gassy state, is heavier than air, breaks down in minutes, and is susceptible to hydrolysis. It's, so it's possible for you, for you to poison someone to death without any complications. Of course! Hydrolysis! The chemical bonds that form the poison were broken down by the water from the sprinklers! Also, the poison is apparently denser than air, so it probably didn't affect us because we were standing. Yeah, it would have been close to the ground, and because he was lying on the ground Naruto when he did it. was laying down, so he must have breathed in a whole bunch of it. Huh? If it meets the requirements that well, maybe it's not just a possibility anymore. Yeah, the true cause of Nagito's death was poison. The wounds on his body, the spear in his stomach, it was all to keep us from learning the truth. So what? Huh? <laughs> we figured out that Nagito died from poison, but so what? In the end, it doesn't change the fact that he committed suicide, right? Then enough already! Yeah, see, this is what I'm like. It's like, so what, 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 what does this prove? Nagito inhaled the poison he prepared and died. Yeah, that still sounds like a suicide. Well, with this, we have a clearer picture. We've also determined the true cause of death. All right. All the mysteries should be solved now. We should get on with the voting time, right? Oh, well, but what? There's still more? I mean, not all the mysteries have been solved yet. In the end, Nagato's motive is still unclear. To commit suicide just to kill every last one of us? Was that really his motive? Is that really okay? Hey, what happened? There's no reason to wonder about that stuff anymore, you know. Nagato's motive, Nagato's malice. Is it okay? Can we really finish this here? No, I can't. There might have been an accomplice. Huh? Chiaki, what did you just say? If Nagito committed suicide by inhaling poison that he brought, then why wasn't there anything that looked like poison at the crime scene? Anything that looked like poison? If Nagito brought poison to the warehouse, it's strange that we couldn't find it there. Oh, here we go. Okay. So maybe in this... This is where maybe Monokuma did actually. So maybe he did actually end up. Yeah, remember, he was saying before that he was gonna plan something. He's like, "Oh, I know. How about I help you out?" And they're like, "He's like, oh yeah, no, no, stupid." Yeah. But he said he wasn't gonna do it. So maybe they. Maybe I got to change my mind, and then I got rid of it the ball or something, just to make sure they all fucking died here. What really brought to the poison the thing to be left behind was the container. Well, no, not the container. The well, well, yeah. <laughs> the meat on the bone! <laughs> I see. Are you talking about the container the poison was kept in? <laughs> the meat on the bone! <laughs> what would I have said? It was obviously, yes, the meat on the bone! Oh wow, you, you're right. Wow, I can totally see clearly now. The place is solved! God dang it! Without putting it in a container? Yeah, it was written on the warning label. Yeah, storing a cool place or in a plastic, in, in a cool place in glass or plastic container away from sunlight. Well, 
Oh. Oh! 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 That's how he did it! Right? He, it, it had to be... When we threw the fire grenades in there, right? It was... It look was in the fire grenades. So it wasn't gasoline. It was... We were throwing the poison in there. That's probably what killed him. But if that's the case... Oh, no. Oh, no. Are you serious? No! Does that mean it's he, he's going to claim that we killed him? We all killed him? Because we threw the... We all threw the fire grenades in there? Oh, my God. Is that what this is? The thing is, though, he said... The, the Monokuma Fossil, said he died at noon sharp. So he should have already been dead by that point, right? Oh, my God. But if it... Probably melted in the fire. It's probably plastic or glass, right? There's no way it completely incinerated. No, it it's definitely the fire grenades. Although I, I still don't understand how that would have if it said he died at noon sharp, that means he would have already been dead by that point. Right? If it were the Even fire the plastic grenades. fragments of the fire grenades we used to put out the fire didn't completely burn up, you know? Then does that mean someone got rid of the container? So that's why you mentioned an accomplice. Th that is impossible. I mean, an accomplice? It is just too... Like, does that really matter all that much? I mean, even if he had an accomplice, it doesn't change the fact that Nagito still committed suicide. Okay, well, we just missed... Wait, we just mentioned the fire grenades in it. Wait. Sorry, let me reread that. I don't know why we're not assuming. We just mentioned the fire grenades. I don't know why we're, not why we're not assuming that it was in the fire grenades. You're right. Someone might have accidentally took it away from the crime scene. Ah, you're right. You're totally right. That's totally it. Right? Isn't it okay to close this case yet? We're not in the mood for unexpected twists. Too bad, guys, Weech, because this is the final trial, so. I don't want to hurt anyone. I don't want to get hurt anymore by hurting someone else. Everyone else, everyone's tired. Tired of doubting everyone else. I also feel that way. So I want to just rule this as Nagato suicide. If I do that, no one has to. Nobody has to get hurt. But it's no good, huh? I feel like Nagito is seeing through us by calling this Nagito suicide. We're trying to take the easy way out so we don't hurt anyone else. But if Nagito was here right now, he'd probably be sneering at us. He'd be like, ah, 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 oh. oh, silly Hajime. He'd probably say something like, So that's the extent of your hopes. So Nagito's ghost is whispering to you, huh? Oh! <laughs> the power of friendship bursts beyond death, huh? A fiery outcome like this is right out of a teen manga. <laughs> Still, that's pretty messed up. Shut up. You just be quiet. <laughs> I don't like him. He's not my friend. Fuck you. I, I get what you're saying, but... In the end, the reason he died is still the same as before, right? Even if we solve this mystery, the conclusion won't change at all. I mean, it'd be a suicide regardless, right? No, it's... This is it. This is this is what he's saying. I don't... I, I don't understand how... Why it says noon sharp. I mean, well... Because that was right when the bomb... Well, I, I don't know. I mean... We did rush out of there pretty quickly, didn't we? So maybe, I don't know, maybe that could still... You could still say we got away with the noon sharp right when we threw the fire grenades. But that's what it, I think this is, essentially. Is that what ended up killing him was the fire grenades that we all threw. And that's what's gonna fucking... That's what's gonna screw this, right? Uh, even if there really was an accomplice, is there any reason we should take the time to figure out who it is? Like Fuyuhiko said earlier, it is possible that somebody accidentally removed the poison from the crime scene. But I just can't imagine ending this by turning our backs on the truth. It's fine, okay? There are some things we're better off not knowing. And we probably just didn't notice it. Like maybe the container was hiding with the fire grenade fragments. <gasps> God, now it hits you? Chiaki just brought it up earlier and... What is this feeling just now? Those brief feel like a strong flash of light running through, through the, through, through the back of my my erection head. I'm trying to say just now might be a new clue, and there I might be able to reach the answer. The way Brent brought the poison, which means the, the container which he used was 
Really? Oh, okay, we're gonna do Hangman Gam Hang Hang Scam for fire grenades. God dang! It took forever to figure that shit out. Okay. Just... Uh, uh, uh. Okay, this one isn't as crazy as the other one was. That was fucking bananas. Man, I am glad I've got that thing that heals. That heals me as I use my focus, because that I I would honestly be fucked if I didn't have that. Oh my god. So that so that means we're all the killers or something. Is that what that I see. I got it. Huh? The fire grenades. Nagito put the poison inside one of the fire grenade canisters and transported it to the warehouse. Oh. Like, yeah, okay. But only in one of them? Oh no, so we don't know who it is? Yeah, the container with the poison in it wasn't secretly taken away by someone. I thought he could have just put it in each of the fire can can canisters, but instead he used... He put it in all... He put it in just one of them, he thinks? Oh, man. I don't know which... I don't know which would be worse, honestly. But in either case... Well, we wouldn't... The other one, we wouldn't know who... Who, who the person was that threw it in there. And the other one... Uh, would be... That we, uh... That we all killed him, you know? But... Instead, it was in a container that didn't need to be taken away in the first place. As long as he put the poison in the same container he brought to the warehouse, it can be hidden with the other fire grenades we used, so there's no need to dispose of the container later. Yeah. Oh, bastard. He totally knew we were gonna throw those fire grenades. Which means, did Nagito exchange the contents of a fire grenade? Yeah, that has to be it. When I first discovered those fire grenades, I tried to study them a little bit, but... The canister was completely sealed shut by a layer of aluminum underneath the lid. Ah... That's... where the aluminum seal came from. I don't know why I didn't just throw that in a trash can, why he decided to keep it in this room. <laughs> must hide it. Must hide this aluminum seal, which I can't just throw in a trash can somewhere. No, I must put it in my room. Cause that's the smart thing to do. You just have to peel off that seal and swap the insides, right? The, that is true, but there was no sign he was even at the break room. Hold on. Did you say aluminum? He's like, what the fuck? Could it be? If so, then there's no mistake. Nagito definitely swapped the contents of one of the fire grenades. Seriously? That's impossible. Miss Sonia just said so right now. Okay, so just one of them. That means one of us killed him without realizing it. Is that that's kind of how this is gonna go, isn't it? And that means we're fucked. We're completely fucked. Sonia's words are proof that the poison was swapped with the contents of a fire grenade. Huh? Words contain a clue that the contents of the fire grenade. Yes, piece of blue paper. I can prove it with this. Take a look. We found this under Nagito's bed when we were investigating his cottage. Huh? That's just a piece of trash. N no, that is not just a piece of trash. The seal I saw on that fire grenade matches this. It is the same aluminum. You found the aluminum seal under Nagito's bed? There's more. That's not the only thing we found in Nagito's room. He also found a gas mask and gloves yeah. under his bed, too. What did he need that for, did though? Did he use those when he put the poison inside the oh. fire grenade? Oh, I see. Yeah, because that could still kill him. I mean, pouring it in there. It's a dangerous poison, after all. He took extreme caution when swapping them. Oh, that little shit! That little fucker! Let so, what's the issue? Nagito put the poison in the grenade canister, brought it with him, breathed it in, and died, right? So in the end, he still fucking committed suicide! Enough already! No, you don't get it, you little fucker. Don't you understand, Kazuichi? Don't you understand what he's done? Y you're right. No! If the canister wasn't thrown away, then it just means that there wasn't an accomplice after all. See, I told you. The conclusion is still the same. Nagito committed suicide. End of story. That little asshole. That little asshole fucked us. I admit that there wasn't an accomplice. 
That was just my misunderstanding. You... you're right. In actuality, the truth is even more horrifying. Yeah. What did you say? Hey, what are you planning to say now? What the hell? Do you still want to keep going? Is this not settled? There is no denying that Nagito's death was- Think about it, dum-dums! Think about it! No, it's not. How did the stupid thing get in there? Did he magically do it with his Super Nagito bagel powers? No! You threw it in there with your own fucking hands! No! Jockey? I'm sorry, but I just realized it. Realized what? We know Nagito used the grenade canister to store the poison. So when was it deployed in the warehouse? When did Nagito breathe in the poison? When I thought along those lines, that's when I realized it. The horrifying truth? It probably happened at the same time. The moment fire nades were brought and the moment Nagito breathed in the poison were the same? Did that mean the same moment? We all threw the grenades! I see! Are you saying it was when we all threw the fire grenades? Yeah, I think so. Son of a bitch! When Stupid fire grenades! Needs to put out the fire in the warehouse. I blame Sonya, because she was the one who told us about the fire grenades in the first place. Damn it, Sonya! I was just trying to help them! But you fucked us! Don't you get it? You know what would have been really funny if we actually didn't use those fire grenades? We just walked in and Nagida's not still, like, fucking alive. Stab with the spear. He's like, okay, this didn't totally work out the way I thought it would. You guys were totally supposed to, yeah, but anyway, uh, so I'm... Seeing as I'm not dead anymore, you guys, uh, might not help me a bit before I bleed out. Anybody? Anybody? Bagel? <laughs> we just walk away. Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh well. At least I have you, Bagel. The poison was deployed, and it converted to poison gas and killed Nagito. If, if that is true, then the person who brought the poison and spread it was... One of us? What the heck? What the fuck? Oh, we're so fucked now. We don't know who it is. One of us threw the poison grenade that killed Nagito? H hold on a sec. The Nagito was... It would mean he didn't kill himself. Exactly. You said so yourself. You said Nagito committed suicide. Think about it, stupid. The, then who killed Nagito? Does Monokuma even know, though? I mean, who's the actual killer, right? Do you know? Who prepared the poison fire grenade that killed Nagito? Huh? The person who prepared the poison fire grenade? One of us. No, wait. Oh, person. Oh, Nagito Kameda. I see. It was Nagito, obviously. We just discussed this a few minutes ago. Then who set the warehouse fire that caused one of us to throw the poison grenade? Person was... Made it. I see! That was also Nagito. Hey, how many times are you gonna ask the same damn question? The next question will be my last. Considering all the facts up till now, why did Nagito set the warehouse on fire? Reason? To make someone throw the poison. See. Don't tell me. He he set the warehouse on fire just so we'd have to throw the fire grenades? He set the fire just so we'd put it out? Why did he do that? It was a trap. A trap? Preparing the poison. Creating a reason for us to throw the poison. It was all a oh, set up by Nagi. God, I hate that little asshole now. God, I hate him even more now, the little fucker! That little fucker. Oh, you are such a little shit. Oh, I bet he is just laughing his little ass off in the deepest bowels of hell. He's like, he's like, ha, ha, oh, what a bunch of losers. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, well, maybe this, maybe I'm the one really paying. Because I just realized they don't have any bagels down here now. All they have is fucking waffles. Waffles! And Satan is staying behind Nagito. He's like, ah, ha, ha. This is what you get for being a little douchebag to everybody. Ah, ha, ha. <laughs> oh well, at least that would make me feel better. <laughs> it was all a trap to make one of us throw the poison grenade. S seriously, I'm asking you who threw it. Who? We don't know. I don't know. The 
person who threw it probably didn't know either. None of us know. That's huh? the. Could, could it be? Was that Nagito's trap? This wasn't an intentional murder. This was a murder that Nagito forced someone to do. And for that reason, he put the fire grenade that he filled with poison with the other grenades. Setting up a murder nobody can solve. That was Nagito's true goal. Oh my god, this is such fucking bullshit. Fuck that little asshole. Oh, I hate him so much more now than I did before. Oh, god dang it. We are screwed! Nikito did not commit murder. Instead, he manipulated someone else into killing him? Let's see, how many we got? Six people left? We got a one in six chance of getting it right. It's like the. Hey, it's like, uh. <laughs> it's kind of like, uh, reversed r Russian roulette. <laughs> or maybe more like the Russian roulette that, uh. Uh. That Nagito did. I got a one in six chance of living. Right, right, right. To do that, he set a trap to force someone to kill him. The poison grenade and the fire were traps. That's why the curtain was the fire's origin point. All the fire grenades we threw at the curtain shattered once they fell to the floor. Because of that, Nagito, who was laying face up on the floor, was able to breathe in the dense poison. Ooh, purple. Ooh. Ah, uh, feels pretty good, actually. I don't know what he says. <laughs> okay, now it's starting to hurt. I'm in. Well, uh, hold, hold on. If that's true, you can't say the poison was the cause of death. It might be the poison's fault he let go of the spear, but the actual cause of death could be either one. Well, seeing as Monokuma didn't save him the file, I'm going to assume it probably Even wasn't. So, the poison is what caused him to let go of the spear. I would ask Monokuma, be like, hey, Monokuma, do you fucking have any idea which one of us did it? Do you? You little asshole. Like, seriously, does he even know? That's right. Nagito's killer is the one who made him breathe the poison. Are you fucking serious? That was his trap all along. Even the wounds all over his body. It was all to mess with the evidence for what actually happened. His true goal was creating a murder that nobody can solve. He wanted to prove to us there are mysteries that just can't be solved with educated guesses. That or he just wanted to fuck us. He probably expected that his fake suicide would be found out. After all, a mystery that can't be solved is destined to be solved in the end. However, he also prepared a mystery that couldn't be solved. As you solve mysteries and bolster your hope, a huge mystery comes along and slaps you in your faces! With its dick! For those of you who believe there are no unsolvable mysteries, that is when you finally taste despair. He's like, fuck yeah! Oh, yeah! This is what I've been waiting for! None of that Nagi bullshit coming out and being like, whoa! Super, here's my hope balls, or whatever the hell he's talking about! God dang it! <laughs> ah! Screw you guys! I'm fucking all of you up now! Meaning, he used all of the prior class trial verdicts to prepare this trick! Not all mysteries can be solved! <laughs> Such a devious trick he played on you! That's totally messed up. That's so fucked up! It is my fault, because I told you all about the fire grenades. Yeah. <laughs> I... I am so sorry! Please vote me as the killer! That's not the fucking issue here! It's not M Miss Sonia's fault! This is all Nagito's doing! But... what should we do? How can we even figure out who the killer is? It's impossible. It, impossible? Nagito wanted to create a scenario where we couldn't make a decision. That's why we're at an impasse. Huh. However, Monokuma also does not know yes. who the killer is, right? That's right. There's no way he'd be able to figure that out with just his surveillance cameras. That's, that's what I'm saying. How, is he gonna fucking know? Monokuma doesn't know. His trial doesn't count. Isn't that right? 
you know, I don't actually need stuff like cheap-ass surveillance cameras or whatever. I know perfectly well what's happening on this island at all times. What are you, some kind of deity? <laughs> I know you used the bathroom three times yesterday, Sonya. And one of those visits seemed to take a while. <laughs> I had my head... I was... I was in the toilet you were pooping in. Oh, <laughs> I'm kind of into that, apparently. <laughs> I mean, how can you have such an awful power? <laughs> no, share it with me! So, of course this trial still counts. Do your very best to guess who the killer is. Guess, he says. How the hell are we supposed to do that? Is giving up all we can do? No, it's too early to give up. Is there any way to figure out who the killer is? Even though it's just a hunch, it's possible that it's probably... There's one way, I think. Really? Hey, is it alright if we look at Nagito's crime one more time from the beginning? I want to make sure my hunch is correct. Hajime, please. Oh, am I doing my... Am I doing my, uh... My, my final... Uh, thing? Sorry, it doesn't mean the trial's over yet. I don't know who the killer is. It should be clear what kind of trap he set. Then I have to do it. In the least is spare. Got it. Let's do this then. All right, Hajime power time. Here we go. Closing argument time. Go! Begin! <laughs> that little fucker. That little fucker. Oh, you are such a little shit. God dang it. Urgh, I'm gonna fucking... Urgh. I'm gonna solve this, Naito. I'm gonna prove you wrong. You little, dick. You little, little nugget bastard. You so fucking much. Here's everything that right, happened in done. this case. The person who actually arranged this incident was the victim, Nagito Komaeda. Yeah, look at him, that little bastard. He kept a specific item inside his cottage that he needed for his plan. Monokuma's special poison, which he brought with him from the octagon. You're gonna be an old fucking sneaky and evil. You <laughs> the gloves and oh gas boy. mask that he got from the military base. I can't wait to get started with my dastardly plan. Nagito swapped the contents of a fire grenade he took from the plushy factory break room with that poison. When he did that, a specific item was left as evidence. The blue aluminum seal on the grenade. God with dang that, it. Nagito finished making the poisoned fire grenade. Took it with him to the factory. He also, ma he also made a big evil smile on his face. At least that's what I think. <laughs> You're right, I did, Ajime. God, good guess. You know me so well. We're the best friends. Fuck you. I guess what it, back with which the rest one it is. In the break room. The next morning, Nagito appeared before us and declared that he hit a bomb somewhere. See, and oh, it's it, it's interesting too. Look, it made it made all of us look like that, uh, the 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 killer here, the the shadowy silhouette of the blackened or the whatever the killer. We don't know who it is. While we were looking for the bomb, that's when Nagito headed over to the goods warehouse. Do 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 do. Can they get please dump this fire, again? Nagito arranged the monokuma panels in a line going from the door to the curtain and placed an oil lighter in front of it. Oh, I see. Okay, so he lit it already, and so all I had all I had to do was knock it over toward the curtain. Okay, I can I see now. I see how I thought it flicked it on. I understand. Okay. From there, Nagito set his insane plan in motion. <laughs> my bananas plan. Do 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 while listening to my awesome, my favorite song. He hung the spear that he took from Nazumi Castle from the ceiling girder by its core. Oopsie daisy. Oh man, this is just like the good old he days. He tied his arms and legs at the back of the warehouse with rope. When I used to tie myself, my, tie myself up and hang myself for for sexual pleasure. However, he burnt off the rope on his right arm beforehand. Okie dokie, snug like a bug. So, he made sure that only his right hand was free, while his remaining arm and legs were tied up. 
<laughs> I'm so evil. Ooh, this is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. As he gripped the tip of the rope hanging over the ceiling girder with his left hand, he lay down face up, just beneath the dangling spear. But this was just the beginning of Nagito's plan. And then, he did something no one could have predicted. First, he covered his mouth with duct tape, and after making sure he was unable to scream... <laughs> oh, God! Oh, yeah, that hurt a lot! Oh, shit! He stabbed himself with the knife multiple times in his left arm and in both of his thighs. Okay, that hurt a lot more than I thought it would. Oh, do we have any anesthesia anywhere or something? Oh, Jesus. Okay, this Final. is not gonna feel good either. Oh! Uh, oh, right in your erection. Ow. Okay. He dropped the knife on the plushie and slammed his right hand onto the blade. He didn't just want us to think he was tied up. He also wanted us to think he'd been tortured. Through all this, Nagito never let go of the spear. His plan still wasn't over. In fact, it was just about to begin. Yeah, so it's pretty impressive he managed to hold on to that thing. Meanwhile, we finally arrived at the plushie factory and found Nagito's message. <laughs> hey, how's it going, losers? After seeing his message, we instantly made our way to the warehouse. But that was part of Nagito's plan. Aha! Ooh, Dominoes! We the door to the warehouse, which inadvertently started the Monokuma panel domino effect. The panels fell one after another until they reached the lighter, tipped it over, and ignited the curtain. Oh, wait. Shocked by the sudden fire, we rushed to the factory's break room to obtain some fire extinguishing grenades. Go! We went for the fire's origin point, which was the curtain, and unloaded the entire supply. It never occurred to us that one of those grenades was the poison grenade that Nagito had prepared. This just goes to show you guys, just if there's ever a fire, just don't don't use anything to try to put it out. Just wait for it to go down. I'm just kidding, don't do that. Because <laughs> one of them might have a poison grenade in there. <laughs> fire extinguisher! Aw oh, damn it, somebody poisoned my fire extinguisher. Fuck! <laughs> Ooh. Poison sank to the Ooh, floor, purple. instantly vaporizing due to the intense heat and spread everywhere. <laughs> oh god, it's got you could go you could go cooking in there. Oh Jesus! We're all doomed! Ooh, yeah, that smells like that smells like death. The poison gas <laughs> quickly drifted to the curtain at the back of the warehouse where Nagito was. Ooh, yeah, that's a sm that's some smelly stuff. Also, Monokuma's poison has a unique quality in which it becomes heavier than air when vaporized. That poison gas completely surrounded the area where Nagito lay face up on the floor. There, Nagito inhaled the poison, and if it didn't instantly kill him, he certainly lost consciousness. Ooh, this was like blueberries. Ooh! Oh! Which caused him to let go of the rope in his left hand, and the falling spear plunged into his stomach. It's raining oh. death! This is all the information related to Nagito's plan. <laughs> and this is when Nico laughed maniacally. Ah, 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 ah. His true intention was to set one of us up as the killer. <laughs> I get the last laugh, Nico. Ha, ah, bitch. At this Man, time, we you. still don't know who the killer is. Because the killer wasn't aware they killed someone. Try as we might, we cannot reach that truth. That was Nagito's trap. In conclusion, the fact that we can't determine the killer's identity Means we're fucked. This should be the truth behind Nagito's trap. I, I feel like we didn't really get a clear picture, and <laughs> that didn't seem like it helped at all. How about it, Chiaki? Will that help you figure out who the killer is? No, I just wanted to get that part out of the way. <laughs> Cause you know we gotta have to do that for every trial, otherwise, you know, it's just not the same. <laughs> uh, um, Chiaki. Use your superpowers. It's impossible, isn't it? You say you just have to vote for someone? What Hajime said is probably true. That's part of the reason why I thought it was a little strange. Did Nagito really not care who the killer was? Huh? He said this to us earlier. <laughs> I'm gonna be fine. I'm pretty sure everything will work out in the end. 
After all, there's no way hope can lose. Absolute hope can break through any despair. N can never lose in a place like this. Not only that, but I believe it. You will. I believe in the time we spend together. That feeling of belief is at the heart of his trick. He believed we'd notice the fire grenades. He believed we'd try to extinguish the flames. And he believed we'd fall into his trap. By believing in us, Nagito was able to put his life-threatening plan into effect. What do you mean, believe? And what's wrong with that? There's one more thing, remember? Something that Nagito believed in from the bottom of his heart. He believed in his ultimate luck. I want you to try to remember what that is. Believed in his talent. I see. <laughs> he believed in me, you know. Nagito believed in his talent as the ultimate lucky student. Sometimes I'm spending it, I believe in you guys. And more than anything, I believe in my ultimate luck. So it's definitely going to be alright. I guess the last thing he could believe in was his own talent. That's not so strange, really. Most of us here have been relying on the same thing. But, in his case, it was pretty remarkable, wasn't it? It almost seemed like he had blind faith in it. You're right. The same thing happened when he cleared the final dead room at the funhouse. <laughs> it wasn't life threatening at all. It was a little escape, you know, Russian roulette. Russian roulette, Russian roulette, blah, 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 roulette. <laughs> Russian roulette. It's game rape. One. Look, one bullet in a gun spin the cylinder, point towards you and pull the trigger. So you really did it. Ah, <laughs> so that's the usual split. Oh man, I'm such a nugget. So it would have been fine if I only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just as Monami said. Huh? I misunderstood and thought I'd take one bullet out of the cylinder. So that's how I did it. Fat, you'd only have one sixth chance of surviving. But I'm still alive, and after all, the only good thing about me is how lucky I am. I'm a lucky motherfucker. It's the same thing when the first killing happened in the old building near the hotel. Depending on his luck, he was able to get clean due to just as he wanted. That's right, I just trusted my luck. <laughs> I trusted in my ultimate bullshit talent. <laughs> That's really what I am. It's not, I'm not the ultimate lucky student. I'm the ultimate bullshit. I trusted I'd be the big free cleaning duty. You just relied on your luck. Seriously, that is a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> exactly. Oh. Why do you think they call me that? It's not just luck. It's my true talent. It's my true... It's true my town is trash, but I'm still the ultimate lucky student, you know. <laughs> Which is total fucking horseshit. Uh, I'm the, the red mark. Uh, someone called the ultimate lucky student. Ah, for someone they all know me student, you don't seem very lucky right now. Or do I? <laughs> At the time, I actually under me said I wasn't lucky, but it was actually quite the opposite. I was lucky. That's why I got picked for, for gleaming, dude, just like I wanted. But his luck doesn't have anything to do with the case this time, right? I just thought... No way. I mean, this is Nagito we're talking about. What, what did he do? You know, he wasn't just after anybody. He probably had a target. A target he was aiming for all along. A person to set up as the killer. Ah, uh, that fucker. That fucker. He's gonna sacrifice you. He wanted Hajime to be the one to do it, so I bet... I bet that is it. It's gonna end up being Hajime, isn't it? Because he wants all the ultimates to survive. He doesn't go. But he, uh, I don't know. He said, "I knew." There were, I, I could tell that Hajime, like, he seemed to have this. He didn't seem to care about Hajime. Like, that's why he was so disappointed that he wasn't an ultimate. He's like, "Why do I? I know you're just a stepping stone like me, but for some reason, I, why do I still care about what happens to you? You know." But so he's doing this. But to him, he's probably thinking he's helping him. Like. There you go, see, you're gonna be the stepping stone for all these other ultimates, so they can all get out of here, and you die a horribly painful death. Ha! <laughs> isn't, it, isn't that awesome? Isn't that the best thing ever, Hajime? Aren't you getting the biggest erection head ever? <laughs> no, I'm not, you asshole! <laughs> Come, join me, Hajime, I'm burning in hell. I'm roasting waffles, not as good as bagels, but it's something. The target? Who? The target's true identity. Even Nagito didn't know it. That's why he relied on being the ultimate lucky student and incorporated that luck into his plan. As long as he had his luck, 
He believed the target he was after would pick up the fire grenade. You mean he left his plan to luck? He risked his life for that? He probably risked his life just so his ultimate luck could decide this. Who is it? Who's the target Nagito was after? Oh wait. Wait. Maybe maybe not. Maybe it is the maybe it's the traitor then, after all. I have to ask if she already know. The traitor. I see. Oh, okay, never mind. I'm sorry, I had that wrong. That's it? The traitor. Nagito was after the traitor, huh? Then he he relied on his luck to weed out the traitor? Nagito didn't know who the traitor was until the very end. All he could do was rely on his own luck. Yeah, I know he said in the video message, but I was just fucking around. Then, what he said in his video message... Yeah. Uh, hey losers. It won't work with just any student handbook. If you want to disarm that bomb, you have to use the traitor student handbook. Oh no. It is gonna be Chiaki. That's why she was the first one to do it. Because she wanted... She was trying to put an end to it, so... Oh, no. Oh, no. It's gonna be Chiaki. Oh, no. To be honest, I found out the trailer was after secretly monitoring everyone's activities somehow. <laughs> but I was a little annoyed they never came forward. So he was just bluffing. That's probably true. By that point, his plan should have already been in motion. It's just Nagato said at the beginning. His purpose was to weed out the traitor. If we just believed in what Nagato said, we would have reached the answer much quicker. The reason this took so damn long was it really because we didn't believe in him? But if he just wanted yeah, to out that. the traitor, he didn't have to go this far and make that person the killer. I still hate his motherfucking guts. <laughs> he still did the most, most fucking ridiculous way. They still ended up putting us all in extreme danger. Damn it! We're all in a huge bind because of that. It means he wants us to beat the traitor. By finding out who the traitor is, our hopes will shine even brighter by overcoming that despair. That's something he'd say. Monami, it looks like you've got something you want to say. But you better just keep your mouth shut. And that concludes my argument. Nagito's plan was to make the traitor kill him. What are you going to do? Are you guys going to believe me? He relied on his luck to aim for a target, but he didn't know even know who he was aiming for. So it's way too unbelievable to actually have to actually have happened. The but. only thing we can do is believe. If we don't, then we'd just be relying on our luck when we cast our votes. But even if we do believe, what should we do? I mean, if we don't know who the target is, there's no way we can even vote. You are absolutely right. It is hard to think the traitor would reveal themselves now. I think it's like... I think Monami said, Monami said that there's no way that the the traitor can reveal themselves, reveal themselves um, by themselves, right? Because they probably forgot it and that they're the traitor, right? I was thinking it was Chiaki because she was the first one to come forward, so she did it to, to, right? 